politics now, the state of Iowa could help determine who wins the White House and the number one concern for voters there, jobs. It's an issue that's taken on fresh urgency days after hundreds of positions were cut at one large company. NBC's Jacob Sovaroff talked to voters there. These two buildings are part of the original part of John Deere manufacturing. And today, they're over here in the new facilities over here, and we're down to uh, maybe 3,000 employees. Robbie Hathaway was a factory worker at John Deere until he became one of many on the assembly line who were recently let go. I did get let off in April of last year. And they just found out 100 people losing their jobs just days ago. Right. The tractor The company says here. that workers like Robbie get laid off due to the ups and downs of the market. Yeah, yeah, Deere added more than 600 here. workers in Waterloo yeah. between 2010 and 2013, yeah. but since then they've shed more than 1,000 jobs. Oh. Hanson's Dairy Farm is just outside Waterloo and has been operated by the same family for 150 years. Blair Hansen is the sixth generation to tend to these fields. How old is this tractor? Early 80s. Early 80s John Deere? Yeah. I heard they've been laying people off. Yeah, corn prices are low. Farmers can't afford to buy new tractors. Then the plants slow down and they have to lay people off. When it comes to the candidates between Clinton and Trump, County, where Bernie Sanders and Ted Cruz won the Iowa caucus, who can bring the Deer jobs back is up for debate, even within the Hanson family. Maybe I'll just go around, he or she, on the next round of presidents. I'm going to say a he. He. Donald Trump. <laughs> it's got to be he. He. Jordan? She. She. I don't want either one of them. You don't want either one of them? I'd have to go green. He or she. I still say she. You know what you're saying? Yeah. I know what Blair thinks. Ross Perot. Ross Perot, Jack. Like their fellow Iowans, the Hansons have two months left to debate which candidate's best for their neighbors until the political harvest of the November election. Jacob Soberoff, NBC News, Waterloo, Iowa. Now that's the way to talk about politics, that's for sure. Well, we do